Hi guys, today I'm going to film for you my October favourites, which means that it's November, which means that it's nearly Christmas. Autumn is my all-time favourite season, um, but when it's over I don't really mind because it's nearly Christmas and I don't care if you tell me that the 1st of November is not nearly Christmas, it is. Christmas starts on the 1st of December as far as I'm concerned. Everything builds up to Christmas Eve. Christmas Day onwards is a complete What's the word? Anti-climax, I suppose. Um, I absolutely love Christmas Eve, that is Christmas, and Christmas starts on the 1st of December, so we have only got a month until Christmas, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, to get on with the things that I've been loving this month, um, I have kind of a mixed bag here, but I tried to pair it down to uh, just a few products so that I didn't have to kind of go on and on and on, be a super long video. Uh, I will, of course, do my random favourites, which will be linked below, that will be over on my vlog channel. Uh, but this will be all beauty related stuff. I'm going to start with something that I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to include because it's super expensive um, but I just had to and especially at this time of year where maybe you'll be asking for presents or um, getting gifts for other people I thought it was worth mentioning. So I have this which is from Aromatherapy Associates. You may remember it because everyone was raving about it last year. They had these this set where you have lots of different ones, um, like tester ones, and everyone was saying, just a tiny cap full, and it'll fill your entire apartment with this, and it smells amazing, and it's this and it's that, and I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. Like, I wasn't interested, I thought, these people have been paid to tell this. Basically, that's what I thought, uh, because so many people raved about it, and everyone said the same thing. So anyway, a couple of months ago, they contacted me and said, would I be interested in reviewing some of their gifts? And basically, any kind of gifts, I accept because for my gift guides I want to make them as comprehensive as possible so I said yeah that would be great if you sent me something higher end and something lower end and so um, in fact I think they sent me three things I think, think they sent me a candle and they sent me a gift set which this was included in and then a little tiny kind of stocking stuffer um, which you will see in the gift guide but anyway um, the reason that I got this out was I used the Butterball from Lush and I loved it. I had that residue in the bath which normally I don't like but my skin had been so dry and itchy so I was really really enjoying that kind of product. I didn't have any other bath oils in the house and have anything that I felt like I could use as a bath oil. Um, I don't really like baby oil as a bath oil just in case anyone was wondering. I don't really like that. So I dug this out and thought I'll just have a little bit out of it. And you won't be able to tell, you know, I'm not planning on giving it to anyone. It was only going to be used for me anyway, but I didn't really want to open it because I wanted to show you guys the um, gifts in their entirety. But I opened it. You really do just need a cap full. It smells amazing. It's got a lavender scent to it, and I normally don't like lavender, but I really like this. But the thing that really struck me was how tired I was. This is the Relax Deep or Deep Relax. I haven't found a definitive answer online as to which one it is. Um, so it is the one that's supposed to make you relax. But I don't know what it was. I mean, literally, the moment I got in the bath, I started to feel tired. And once I'd got out of the bath, it was like I'd taken a sleeping pill or something. And that effect doesn't last very long, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. So if you're going to kind of, if you're not going immediately to bed, it's not like it's going to wipe you out and you're going to pass out or anything like that. But you just have this overwhelming tiredness, like you're just so, so relaxed. And if you go to bed in that time, you go to sleep in that time, I find that I sleep so much better. I've only used this maybe three or four times, um, mainly because I don't use a bath oil every single time I have a bath, uh, but mostly because it's so expensive. I think this 55ml bottle is £39, if I'm correct. I will link everything below um, where you can get everything and stuff, but... It's very expensive, um, and the reason that I decided that I would mention it is because I would definitely purchase this myself. If this runs out, which it probably will eventually, uh, when this runs out, I will go. I don't really want to buy it online. I want to go and see what different ones they have, or I may buy that little tester set. Um, but if I was going to spend £39, I want to smell it before I've actually purchased it. But if I don't buy this, this one again, I, I want to go to a shop and actually test them. I will buy it again. I will buy another one of the Aromatherapy Associates bath oils because I'm just so impressed with it. It does say you can use it as a body oil on the back. I wouldn't recommend that because it's a super expensive way of using it. Um, but I mean, if you consider the bath bombs from Lush, how much they cost. I mean, they're supposed to be an aromatherapy experience. And I think if you, if you come away with only an aromatherapy experience, that's a very expensive way of doing it. You're supposed to get 20 baths from this. Um, and if you do, then this, is, this ends up a lot cheaper than Lush bath bombs per bath bomb. So, I, I don't know, I can justify it that way. And if you do take a lot of baths, then I just, I just consider it, is all I'm saying. It's the best thing ever. I didn't believe anyone that talked about it, but 
After using it myself, I can attest to its amazing qualities. Next up I have this cleanser that I mentioned in a previous haul quite recently and it's from Lush, it's called Let The Good Times Roll. Um, I believe that it's a limited edition for Christmas so if you're interested in this I would definitely tell you to go and get it right now. You can see it's got popcorn in there, that is just the maddest thing ever. Um, it smells, oh man it just smells so good, it's just sweet and caramelly and just festive I suppose, it just smells so good. It's a really really fine grain um, kind of scrub. Um, you wouldn't be able to use it on your eyes, although it's a cleanser, it's basically just a face cleanser. I still need to take something, use something else to take off my eye makeup. Um, but <laughs> it leaves this residue on my face that's kind of oily and hydrating, and my skin has never been so soft. So this is a definite favourite this month, and I will be stocking up before it goes out of stock, with it being limited edition and all. I want to mention this mascara from Essence. Um, Essence is now available in the UK for those of you who were wondering because it's been on certain blog posts and stuff, you might have heard a little bit about it. Some Wilkinson stores across the country have uh, started stocking Essence. I say in the UK, it was already available in Ireland I believe, but within England. Um, and this is amazing, it's called Lash Mania Reloaded. Right. It's a false lash mascara, Milo's in the room now. Um, and it looks like this. It's basically got this really thick wand and it's not the kind of wand that I would usually like, it is rubbery and it does separate my lashes but it can be quite clumpy because the bristles are quite far apart. Woo! Leave my tripod alone thank you. Uh, the bristles are quite far apart so it does create a lot of volume but it also defines and lengthens so this has been my mascara of choice for the past few weeks. My blusher choice I'm afraid is not quite so budget friendly, it's from Benefit and it's Dallas. It always comes out at this time of year, it's just my favourite, it's kind of somewhere between a bronzer and a blush and for autumn, especially with my hair being a little bit darker now, it's just my absolute favourite. It goes really really nicely with a paler skin tone um, but Dallas, Dallas had to be in this favourites video because I've worn it so much, I'm wearing it right now and it's just, although it's dark, it just works <laughs> really really well with, um, like I say, paler skins, I don't know what it is. So tell me if you've got a darker skin tone, does this work as well? I don't know, maybe it'd be more like a highlight because it has got a subtle shimmer to it, but it's definitely something that I always reach for in the autumn winter time. Something that I've already reviewed on my blog, and I think I've probably mentioned in a video before, is the Skin Perfection, not primer, um, what is it called? Serum from L'Oreal. And this is, I don't know if it's replacing the Youth Code, the Skin Perfection line, or what it is, um, but basically I use this during the day. I was using it at night time and I was really enjoying it, but I wasn't seeing anything, I wasn't like wowed by it. Whereas now, I use it underneath my makeup and it just leaves this velvety smooth skin on which to apply my foundation. I just find using it during the day, which is probably what it's made for, um, and suddenly I'm absolutely loving it. So I don't use a primer day to day, I barely use a primer for my face anyway, uh, but if I was going to use anything it would be this, and I just, it just, it's, it's just amazing, I absolutely love it. Uh, but there are definitely heavier things that I prefer to use during the night time. Um, oh, hello Milo. And uh, this is not something that I would rave about if it was something in my evening skincare routine. I did like it, but I much prefer it now I'm using during the day. Speaking of heavier nighttime skincare routines, um, the Sanctuary Peptide Repair Eye Cream is quite new to me. And I've started using this again in the last few weeks, and it's the thickest eye cream I've ever used. But I think the problem with eye creams for me is I put them on and I'm like, mm, they absorb and they feel nice and everything, but they thank you. I like it. And, oh no, okay. They rarely feel like they're doing anything, whereas this is super thick. It's, not everyone's going to like this, it's a very, very rich cream. You couldn't use this under eye makeup at all. It would have to be during the evening. Uh, or if you had super dry skin, maybe you could, but I definitely couldn't. But it really feels like a treat to put it on. I don't know if it's doing anything special, but you know, it's in your mind. If, it, if it's thicker, if it feels thicker, then it feels like it's doing something. I'm loving this at the moment, and to be fair, I was going to make a video on my winter skin skincare essentials, and a lot of the things that I brought out for this video um, were going to be in that anyway, so I might not, but I will do a blog post, and this will definitely make it in, because it just feels like a winter eye cream. Lastly, I want to mention this, which I cannot pronounce, it's the Nukes Lip Balm, is it Rev de Mille? I don't know. Um, I use this every single night, it seems to be lasting me a really long time. Um, it's, it kind of coats your lips, it's a really strange consistency. It's very thick, it's matte, it smells like chocolate orange, <laughs> oh man, it's really zesty um, and sweet. But no, it's not for everyone at all, my husband hates it. He likes lip balm but he doesn't like this because he doesn't like to feel, he can't leave hand cream on, he doesn't like to feel things on his skin, so if you don't like that you will not like this. But it's just such a treat on really, really dry lips. If you scrub them and then use this, you'll definitely see a difference. But again, not something to be used during the day because 
just wouldn't work. It's not, it's more like a, it's kind of like a mask almost. It leaves a film on your lips and just does something amazing overnight. I really, really like this stuff. Uh, but that's everything. That's my favourites for this month. Like I say, I really tried to keep it to the very minimum so that I could speak about each of them and not make it a super long video. Um, I know I really raved about that oil, but oh my god, it is my apps. If I had to choose only one favourite from this month, it would have been that one. Um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed these favourites, and if you want to check out what my random favourites were, music, different YouTubers, what blogs I'm enjoying, as well as food, all different kinds of things, uh, you can check out my random favourites, which will be linked below, and at the end of this video. Bye! If you are a blogger or if you are on YouTube, I think that her channel is amazing because she talks about all the different things that you might want to know about.